Good morning, good morning. Today we are going to do a little animation with abcyeah.com animate. Those in my class should have watched other videos on animation already and now you get the chance to make your own little cartoon. While this site is fun for anyone, my video is specific to my younger learners. Okay, so let's just press the play button right here in the middle. This is what our screen looks like. Let's just start right here at the top. These little squares here are our, our frame selections. So if I click on the little plus sign, I can add a frame or a page, kind of like the page in a flip booklet. Let's add a few more. I'm just going to start with five pages for right now. Okay, now I'm going to come over here to my little settings wheel. If I click on that, this is where I can choose whether I want my cartoon to loop, which means play over and over and over. So that way it doesn't just stop once it gets to the end. It'll keep starting over. I can choose my playback speed right here. Do slow, medium, or super fast. I'll probably just leave it on medium right now. Or we can show or hide our previous frame or show or hide our next frame. I'm going to leave it on hide. Uh, that way it doesn't look too messy. Okay, I'm going to click out of my uh, settings wheel. And then we're going to look down here at the bottom. This first one is just our paintbrush. That's if you want to paint something yourself. Um, this is our undo arrow. We'll click on that. And um, this is our back arrow to go back to our previous options. Although I did forget to tell you though that these um, buttons right here are our brush size and this is where you can select the different color of paint. Okay, going back, this is the watercolor brush. Same thing, I can choose a really big paintbrush size or a smaller one right here. And choose a different color. Again, just in case I want to uh, draw my own thing. I'm gonna undo all of this though for now and choose my back arrow. This one is a pattern brush. If I click on that, I can use this to draw a rainbow, or I can paint a road, or railroad tracks, or footprints, or paw prints. Uh, this is just some bricks, and this is water. So just some fun options. Uh, we'll come back to this in a second. Again, let me un... Well, I think we'll just use our eraser right here because every time we do art, we need an eraser, right? Oh, let's make it big so this won't take as long. There we go. Back arrow. This is my typing tool. And type something on here. Okay, click out of it. Change our um, change your font type here or your color. And back arrow again. Undo it. We've got uh, shape options right here. I just want to put some shapes in. And undo back arrow and here are um, our pre-made stickers and I'm gonna actually use a few of these here in a minute to create my cartoon so we can use the left arrow or the right arrow to help scroll through uh, so we can choose what we want for our cartoon okay and then this arrow is just a selection tool. So if I want to move one of my stickers or one of my objects, I can select it specifically. And then this little yellow square here with the lines, this is where I can edit my background if I want a pre-made background. And in this case I do, so I'm going to click on it. And here are my options. Um, I can scroll over to the right to pick something else. And I think in this setting, I'm going to 
do this little Western scene. Okay, so it put my background on all on all of my frames. I'm going to start back here on frame number one. Now in the video you watched before, I, they told you to make something look like it's animated. You're going to put an object on your first page and then you go to your next page and move that same object somewhere else by just a little bit and then move it again a little bit further on the next page and then again on the next page and then when you hit play it looks like it's moving. So we're going to do that. I'm going to go to my uh, stickers right here and I'm going to choose I think this guy right here. He looks like he is running. So I'm going to put him right here so he's slightly off the page. I use my back arrow, click out of it, and I'm going to go to my second page. I go back to the sticker, choose the same guy, and I move him a little bit further. Okay, and I go to my third page, my sticker, Choose the same guy, move them a little bit further. I might need a couple more frames, but we'll see in just a second. Move a little bit further. Yeah, maybe we'll do one more page. Go back. Add my guy right there. Okay. Now, go back to page number one. I think I'm going to add another little guy. Let's do this one. I can shrink him down a little bit if I'd like. Let's put him right here. Back arrow. Go to page two. Grab him again, shrink him down. This time I'm going to use this little arrow here in the corner to start to turn him. And I'm going to bring him up just a little bit. Okay, go to my third page, do the same thing, shrink him down a little bit, turn him even more. back, go to my fourth page, turn them a little bit more, fifth page, have them look like this. And one more here. Bring them back down to the bottom. Okay. Starting back, let's look at how this might look here in a second. Might be okay. All right, starting back on the first page again, let's see if we can get a pattern in here. Let's do a railroad track, just because it's a little bit silly. Okay, let's go up to our second frame, do the same thing. The third frame. Sales isn't a great painter, but that's okay. Oh, really not a good painter, am I? That's okay. And go to the last one one more time. Okay. All right, let's start here. And I'm going to come back over here. Oh, goodness. Let's undo that.
Sorry about that. Let's paint that in one more time. Okay, now we're good. Okay, let's go to the playback button here and let's see what our cartoon looks like. Okay, looks like our turtle is trying to jump over our running guy. That's what my cartoon looks like. Okay. Pad kids do uh, space cartoons and underwater cartoons, and they have had a lot of fun with this in the past. So I want you to go give it a try and have some fun too. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye now.